Let's read Henry and Mudge and Mrs. Hopper's House. Sweetheart Dance Valentine's Day was coming. Henry and his big dog Mudge loved Valentine's Day because of the candy. They liked the little candy hearts that said, You're swell and oh dear and things like that. Henry read the words and Mudge licked them off. They were a good team. On this Valentine's Day, Henry's father and Henry's mother were going to a sweetheart dance. Henry and Mudge would be staying with Mrs. Hopper. Mrs. Hopper lived across the street in a big stone house with droopy trees and dark windows and a gargoyle on the door. Right there. Henry liked Mrs. Hopper, but he did not like her house. Are you sure Mudge and I can't come to the sweetheart dance? Henry asked his father. Only if you both promise to wear a tuxedo and shiny black shoes and waltz to the Blue Danube, said Henry's father. Henry looked at Mudge and tried to imagine him in a tuxedo and shiny black shoes waltzing to the Blue Danube. I think we'd better go to Mrs. Hopper's, Henry said. Good idea, said Henry's father. Because Mudge only knows how to tap dance, Henry said with a grin. Mrs. Hopper On Valentine's night, Henry's parents got all dressed up. Henry looked at them. Wow, he said. I bet you didn't know I was this handsome, said Henry's dad. I did, said Henry's mother, giving him a kiss. Ugh, too much mushy stuff, Henry said to Mudge. Let's get to Mrs. Hopper's house quick. At Mrs. Hopper's house, Mudge licked the gargoyle on the front door. Henry giggled. He didn't scare you, Mudge, Henry said. When Mrs. Hopper opened the door, she had a violin in her hand. She smiled at Henry. She petted Mudge. She said goodbye to Henry's parents, and Henry and Mudge went inside. Wow, said Henry. He had never been inside Mrs. Hopper's house before. It was like a castle. There were big chandeliers and tall paintings and a grand piano. And lucky for Mudge, cats everywhere. How many cats do you have, Mrs. Hopper? asked Henry. Eleven, said Mrs. Hopper. All girls. Mudge looked at the cats and wagged. Mudge loves cats, Henry told Mrs. Hopper. Mrs. Hopper petted Mudge again. Mudge loves everything, she said. Henry smiled. Mrs. Hopper's house wasn't bad. It was wonderful. Maybe his parents would dance all night long. Costumes Mrs. Hopper wasn't like anyone Henry had ever met. She played the violin for him. She served him tea. She told him about her father, who had been a famous actor. She was very kind to Mudge. She cooked him a bowl of oatmeal and gave him his own loaf of French bread. After the tea and music and oatmeal, Mrs. Hopper took them upstairs. She opened a room that had been her father's. <gasps> wow, said Henry. The room was full of costumes. There were silk capes and tall hats and shiny coats. There were canes and swords and umbrellas and there were wigs. Mrs. Hopper put a wig on Mudge. You look like a poodle, Mudge, said Henry. Mudge wagged and wagged. Henry and Mudge and Mrs. Hopper spent most of the evening in the costume room. They had a wonderful time. And when Henry's parents came back from the dance, were they ever surprised. Mudge was a poodle and Henry was a man. Henry wore a tuxedo and a hat and shiny black shoes. 
I bet you didn't know I was this handsome, Henry told his dad. And everyone laughed and laughed. The end. Thank you for reading along with me.